We're going to do our magazine together called Making Ice Cream. See if you can find it at, um, so you can follow along and work on it with us. On the front, it says Making Ice Cream. It's sweet, it's cold, it's drippy and yummy. It's ice cream. One ice cream factory makes a thousand gallons of it a day. How? It says ice cream factory. We visited the Ample Hills Ice Cream Factory in New York. We learned how ice cream is made there step by step. Look at number one. Add the ingredients. First, workers put milk, cream, eggs, and sugar into a big tank. They heat up the tank. Heat kills any germs in the mixture. The mixture is liquid. Step two. Mix it, cool it. Next, the liquid goes into the ice cream maker. The ice cream maker is freezing. It mixes the liquid a lot. Slowly, that liquid turns into solid ice cream. It's showing us up top the liquid gets mixed. Step three, chop the cake. Meanwhile, workers put cakes on a moving belt. Why? This ice cream will have bits of cake in it. The cakes move along the belt. Blades chop them up. So it shows us this is the moving belt and these are the blades that chop the cake. Box four, or step four, add the cake. Now workers pour the cake bits into a machine. The machine adds the cake to the ice cream. Yum. This ice cream is ooey gooey butter cake flavor. Step five, fill the cartons. Then workers hold out the ice cream cartons. The ice cream pours in from an ice cream filler. Workers also hold out big tubs. Those go to ice cream shops. So it shows you the ice cream filler. And step six, scoop it out. Finally, the ice cream goes to grocery stores and ice cream shops. You can buy a cone at a shop. Two scoops, please. Inside an ice cream factory. On a hot summer day, there's nothing better than sweet, creamy, frosty ice cream. You can get it at a shop. You can get it from a truck. You can even get it from your own freezer. Ice cream is everywhere. But where does all that delicious ice cream come from? What's in it? And how is it made? To answer those questions, we're going on a trip to somewhere extremely cool. Hi, I'm Blair Ransford, an editor at Scholastic. I'm here at Ample Hills Ice Cream Factory in New York City. In this building, workers can make 1,500 gallons of ice cream every day. It would take a lot of hot fudge to cover all that ice cream. At Ample Hills, they make so many delicious flavors, like strawberries and cream, dark chocolate, and peppermint patty. But today, we're gonna see them make a flavor called ooey gooey butter cake. Let's go check it out. Oh wait, before we go in, I've gotta get all suited up. I have to put covers over my shoes, fresh white lab coat over my clothes, and a hairnet over my hair. If you have a beard, you better put on a beard net too. We'll start by making the ice cream base. That's the basic mix that can be turned into any kind of ice cream. The workers pour milk, sugar, cream, and eggs into a big machine. The machine slowly stirs the mixture and heats it to about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. But wait, isn't ice cream supposed to be cold? Don't worry, it will be icy cold soon. It gets heated up now to kill any germs that are in the mixture. The ice cream base gets pumped through pipes along the ceiling. Those pipes are so cold, you can see frost on them. 
The mixture goes to a cooling machine. Now the ice cream is only 20 degrees. It's time to add the mix-ins. Those are the chewy, crunchy bits that some ice cream flavors have, like peanut butter cups or fudge. Ooey gooey butter cake gets cake pieces. Let's go take a look. The ice cream factory has its own bakery. To make the cake, workers stir up the ingredients in a huge mixer. They smush the cake batter into big sheet pans, like this. They cover that raw dough with a delicious gooey layer. And then they bake the cake in a giant oven. After it cools down, they chop, chop, chop it up. This machine chops the cake into tiny little cubes. And now those cubes get mixed into the ice cream. Our sweet mixture has finally become ooey gooey butter cake ice cream. Next, this machine pumps out the ice cream. It fills up cartons called pints. Those go to grocery stores. It also fills up big tubs. Those go to the Ample Hills ice cream shops. All the ice cream spends a little time in one last place. This super cold freezer. It's 30 degrees below zero in here. Brrr. It's too cold for me, but it's perfect for ice cream. There's only one step left. It's time to eat the ice cream. I'll take two scoops and a sugar cone, please. Thank you, Jackie. Mmm. It took a whole team of people a lot of work to make this delicious treat. Just make sure you eat it before it melts. Okay, let's see what our game is. Build your own ice cream cone. Answer the questions to build your own ice cream cone. So let's look down at the bottom. Ice cream is made of blank, cream, sugar, and eggs. Should we pick juice or milk? Ice cream is made of milk, cream, sugar, and eggs. All right, so now we get to pick a type of cone. I like this cone the best. Ice cream starts out as a liquid or a solid. So think back to when they first start making the ice cream. It is a liquid. What flavor ice cream should we have? When ice cream is frozen, it becomes a liquid or solid. Yes, when it is frozen, it becomes a solid, so it's not um, liquid. Pick another ice cream flavor. Hmm. You can only buy ice cream at a grocery store. Is that true or false? Well, you can buy ice cream at a grocery store, but it's not the only place you can buy ice cream. You can get ice cream from the ice cream truck. You can get ice cream um, at a ice at a like a restaurant at an ice cream store. So that is false. You can get ice cream other places. What kind of sauce on top? We'll go in the middle. This ice cream has bits of blank in it. So when we were watching the video and reading our weekly reader, did it have bits of hot dog in it or bits of cake in it? Yes, cake, bits of hot dogs. That's making me kind of sick, that's gross. Uh, let's see, we'll do this one. The cake is chopped up before it's put in the ice cream. True or false? That's true, they did put the cake through the machine that chopped it up into little pieces. 
All right, so we get to pick gumdrops, nuts, or chocolate chips. I'm going to do chocolate chips. People and machines work together to make the ice cream. True or false? We saw some people doing the jobs and some machines doing the jobs. So that's true. They do work together. Looks delicious, right? All right, go to the back page of your weekly reader. And we can do this part together. America's favorite ice cream. The chart below shows the country's top ice cream flavors. So when we look at the, the chart, number one is chocolate. Number two is vanilla. Number three is butter pecan. Number four is a tie. So two of them are at number four, cookies and cream and mint chocolate chip. So let's answer our questions. Number one, which ice cream flavor is in first place? So we look up at number one and we see that it is chocolate. Chocolate starts with ch, ch, partner letters CH for chocolate. Number two, which ice cream flavor is in third place? So go down to third and we see butter pecan. Pecans are a type of nuts. So down here, butter pecan is our choice for third place. Number three, cookies and cream is tied with another flavor. Which flavor is it tied with? So here for fourth place is cookies and cream and mint chocolate chip. Which ice cream flavor do Americans like the most? So the, the most was the one that got first place and that was chocolate. And then down at the bottom, it says, is your favorite on the list above? Mine is because mint chocolate chip is my favorite. And then over here, it says, color this to show what it is. So I think you can pick whatever colors you want and color them in. Okay. All right. Go get yourself some ice cream. I'm sure that made you hungry.